Good morning. It is 2 p.m. on a Sunday and I'm in my jammies and this is my life now. So it's been a crazy time and basically I just wanted to do um, quick weekly more personal vlogs now because I just want to show people what is going on behind the scenes and how I'm not like good no one's good no matter how it seems on social media if you care about what's going on it's like nakakaloka it's been what the sixth month of the lockdown and i am privileged enough to be able to stay at home work at home not a lot of people have that privilege but despite all that there is a mental strain about what's going on in the world um there are issues about how government has been dealing with this pandemic. There are issues about the actual pandemic and people actually dying, healthcare collapsing. And aside from that, I also have issues about like myself, like deep within me, like feeling guilty about not being productive in this time, even when I have everything available to me to do my work or, you know, just a lot of self-doubt too and i mean that's normal as is well <laughs> vlogging looking like this i am not even like wearing makeup or doing like any lighting i'm literally on my phone and doing this because i just want this to be like as casual as possible <laughs> it's basically an update on my mental health which no one has asked for i think but i really feel like it's important to talk about it because at this point in time, I think we're all going a little bit crazy. So it's been a hot second and if you know me, you'd know that um, ever since the lockdown, I've been like super productive. I've been shooting videos on my tech channel. I have shot some funny, funny videos that went viral, but like, I mean, no one's anticipated that we'd be in the situation for what the sixth month now. If I think about it, it's not surprising given how everything's been running. But still, like, we 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 were very optimistic about what what what's been going on. I'm not okay. I don't think anyone is okay. Anyone who thinks about like what's going on, I don't think anyone who is conscious about what's going down would be okay with anything. I'm shooting this to talk about like a few things that I learned during the lockdown. Um, I'm talking about this because I think it would be one healthy to talk about it, two healthy that people hear other people talking about it, and three, I think and three, I've been cooped up in this room for, no, in this house for so long that, like, any conversation is welcome now these days. The first thing I learned about this lockdown is that I'm mad. I am livid. I am furious about everything that's going on. Sometimes when people get so mad, they sort of, like, just bury it and try to forget about it. But it's a funny thing when you do that, it sort of seeps out into other things. So, um, I think some people have actually noticed this in my social media that I've been very mad recently. And aside from that, like, okay, funny story, I literally broke down because of an aircon last week. And it's funny because, my god, Isa, ang babaw, like, why are you crying over an aircon? But I literally got to the point where I was ugly crying over the aircon because I realized that without an aircon, I couldn't do work. And without doing work, I did not have anything to busy myself with in this pandemic. And I felt so helpless. And I felt like I couldn't do the one thing that I could do to be productive. And it just amplified feelings of frustrations and helplessness and it was it was just bad and to top it all off me being mad over the aircon made me mad at myself for being mad over the aircon when people are literally 
starving or dying and it was just like it was just a really bad like spiral and I realized that after I had that mental breakdown <laughs> that it was because I was very mad and despite me trying to channel all my anger into very healthy ways like shooting stupid videos or exercising or throwing myself into work like I still am at the end of the day very very mad and that's justified like those feelings are valid is as someone who's privileged enough to you know have a roof over my head not worry about food have all the tools I need to do work I've been feeling guilty about not being so productive um, me thinking that me having everything here to do what I need to do to be able to excel during a time when all this is going down has been driving me crazy. This has eaten at me because it's like I have not been productive. I have literally spent the last two days just trying not to be mad. My point is aside from throwing myself into work because I feel like that distracts me from being mad and the helplessness of it all, I also feel guilty that I am given all these tools and the roof over my head and the privilege not to worry about the shit that's going on and yet I am not like getting stuff done I'm not moving mountains I don't know let me think about this I know that logically how I feel is valid even with everything else that's going on but it doesn't help me from feeling bad that I should be doing better this is something that a lot of people haven't recognized but for a while I wasn't realizing this was how I felt until I literally like broke down and tried to flesh out how I feel and it's gotten me here and I know that there is guilt if others can survive a pandemic with less why can't I thrive with everything provided for you know which brings us to the third thing that I've learned um, being locked up in this room by myself it's that we all need to be able to flesh out our emotions more and how I feel more like it had to take me ugly crying over an aircon to realize that I was mad that I've been mad that I've been frustrated the last few months I think growing up I mean personally me I've always had like volatile emotions and as I grew older, I learned to sort of level my emotions so that my reactions to certain things are acceptable and I don't end up throwing tantrums or like getting so mad and frustrated about things that sometimes I overdo it and like, guys, we're living through a pandemic, an actual real pandemic, a big legit thing and I'm here trying to be productive and you, if you put it in the grand scheme of things it's like it sounds a little absurd but that's how I have been functioning that's how a lot of us have been functioning and it's like it's crazy to me how because of everything that happens to us we normalize all the anger and all the frustration and we romanticize resilience and it's just it's just a sad situation all around like I am learning the value of internalizing thinking about how I feel feeling how I feel and then I guess the last part would be like deciding on what to do with how I feel personally I haven't gotten to the last part I still don't know what to do with my anger or my frustrations but it's a step right and honestly the last layer of this all is um me constantly assessing and reassessing myself online and what i do and what i say and the things i fight for um as a content creator my job is to put stuff out there for people to watch and considering that this is our situation now i constantly try to think of what type of content I want to put out in the world for people to consume 
Like I always say that my main goal for the content I create is to have the perfect balance of <laughs> this kind of sounds silly, but this is really my ultimate goal. I need and want the perfect balance of charot and informative content so that people are entertained while at the same time they learn. But like with everything that's going on these days and with everything that's shifting, I am constantly trying to readjust and have that conversation with myself on how and what to put out, how to say things, what things to say, what conversations to have. And it's tiring, but it's also, I feel like, as a content creator, it's something that we all have to be conscious of. I'm gonna say this, and I have not ever meant it, with this much emphasis but we live in extraordinary times and I just really feel and want the type of content that I put out there to be worthwhile and worthy of the time I take from people when they watch my stuff and it's Again, a lot of these things are questions that there are no answers to, but like as this video is unfolding, I said that I I I talk about things that I learned in the pandemic. But I now have more questions. And maybe that's how life is, that's realization, I don't know. Um <laughs> Welcome to my life. I literally have conversations with people, which is just this, me talking and me realizing things. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know if this counts as vlogging. Yes, I'm having coffee just now. <laughs> maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. But I feel like this is a conversation, wow, a video that I had to shoot because I feel like a lot of people out there might be feeling the same things but aren't verbalizing it. Like I've always said that I am for discourse and conversation and this is one of the hard things that I had to flesh out and talk about. I've been getting like replies to my stories or my posts about f people feeling down and depressed and it's it's mental health you know it's it's not easy right um I don't know I don't even know if this video will make sense once I put it together I literally am like this is the most raw video you're gonna get from me ever I don't know so let me know. I honestly at this point I, I don't know. I'd say like comment and subscribe but yeah no.